so friends today uh, i'll be explaining you how you can create a private root ca in certificate manager let's go to the certificate manager console here first we'll go to private ca's click on get started today we'll be discussing how we can create a root ca in acm OU, you can give anything. Let me use test OU organization. This is test O, or you can be test OU country name, whatever is your country. Let's select any country, state or province, anything, locality name, and then a common name for your OU would can be test.com you go to next in advanced settings you can basically select the key algorithm that would be used this would be the algorithm using which this uh, certificate authority would be issuing the private certificates so we just select this default rsa 2048 option for this we go to next crl is basically if you want to set up a certificate revocation list stating once a certificate authority has issued a certificate after that if you want that certificate authority to revoke that certificate for some reasons then you can enable a certificate revocation list we'll go to next tags authorize renewal so this is basically if you want so the certificates that would be will be issued for a specific validity if you want the aw certificate manager to renew those certificates to automatically renew those certificates and you have to authorize aacm to use the ca for renewals if you don't want renewals to happen you can just select this option let's choose this let's go to next it will give you a summary what is the ca type root or subordinate it is root organization details key algorithm size crl ca permissions you just click on the confirmation and click on confirm and create so this will take up to 10 seconds to get created and then click on get started after you have created that you would be specifying the validity now this would be the validity of the ca certificate so whenever you issue a certificate that end entity certificate will be signed by this root certificate so this is validity of the root certificate and this is a signature algorithm so whenever that end entity certificate is issued it will be signed by the root certificate this is the algorithm that you can specify so with what specific algorithm do you want the root certificate to sign you go to next you go to confirm and install and finally you would get the ca created it's active ca is created you can go to actions and disable delete audit there are various options to it your ca is basically set up uh, one thing to notice for creating each ca in aws certificate manager you will be charged 400 dollars thank you and please subscribe to the channel